affectionately dubbed the Big House. Michigan Stadium, the largest in the nation, is home to the University of Michigan Wolverines. Their gridiron has been graced by Heisman Trophy winners and Super Bowl champions, all with the help of Michigan's secret weapon. Mm -hmm. And he's here today with one of his famous former students to tell us about his new book, Stay Sane in an Insane World. I can't wait to hear about it. Please welcome Peak Performance Coach Greg Harden and ESPN's Desmond Howard. <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you. Good to thank see you, brother. Thank you. Thank you you so are much. the man. <laughs> he is. Yes, he, he is. is, right? Very much he, so. I'm the man sitting next to the man. Sitting next to the man. I like that. I like that. Pass the love. So you worked with so many high-profile athletes, uh, Tom Brady, Michael Phelps, the Desmond Howard. What's your best advice? You say become an expert on yourself. Ooh, look, the current climate, we're hearing people talk about becoming the best version of themselves. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Well, you be must become the world's greatest expert on one subject, yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's what we teach, and that's what we preach, and that's what the book is all talking about, is how to be able to see yourself in critically in such a way that you can see what's working in your life, and what's not working. Desmond, you've had such a successful career. You won the Heisman while you were at Michigan. You've gone on to big, better things. But how important was his coaching and his advice to helping you get to those things? You know, I'm, I'm on record for saying that I don't win the Heisman at Michigan without Greg Harden. And normally if a player says that, he's referring to a coach or maybe a, a wide receiver is referring to a quarterback. Mm -hmm. But I'm referring to Greg because Greg was the guy who put me in the right mental space so I can go out there and perform. And I don't care what you do in life, if it's athletics, academics, Whatever it is, if you're not in the right mental space, you're not going to be able to perform at your highest level. So because of Greg Harden, if he wasn't at Michigan in 1988 when I got there, I don't win the, the, he the Heisman Award. I love that. Yeah. And that's got to make you feel humble in all kinds of ways. Look, I, he has been so generous and so thoughtful. And I'm so grateful to Tom Brady and for writing the foreword in the book yeah. and for Desmond. I wasn't a secret weapon until he decided I was the secret weapon. <laughs> <laughs> that was Sports Illustrated in 1989. <laughs> right? But to see what he's done, and for people to really get it, I need you to understand that mentors are fortunate if they can switch it and start learning from their mentee. <laughs> he's teaching me everything I need to know about this industry. I love it. And you also talk about the power of positivity. How do you control self-doubt and overthinking when you're so hard on yourself? Um, let's be clear that this book is timely. Mm -hmm. It's crucial in the period that we're in. And one of the greatest enemies you will face, we have faced, is fear and self-doubt. Mm -hmm. Nothing can overwhelm you more than your own inner thoughts. And so what we're training people to do is begin to understand that fear and self-doubt is part of life. And to embrace fear and stop having people tell you, well, don't be afraid. Stop being afraid of being afraid. Mm. Being afraid means that it's your passion is there. Your fire is there, that you want it to work. And so if I stop being afraid of being afraid and I predict fear, I can manage it. Go ahead on, brother. No, See, wow. I'm, I'm getting there as a college <laughs> student athlete. You still yeah. yeah. right? I got to not be successful. You, you credit him with your success. Yeah. What, what is the secret sauce? What was it that he said that really helped you? Well, Greg is a guy who he's not going to coddle you, okay? He's going to come direct and straight, but he's going to come in a loving way. The reason I'm here is because I have so much respect, love, and admiration for Greg and the way he approaches the, uh, the subject matter as far as your mental uh, capacity to deal with situations. So Greg was a guy who really set me up to be successful, and this is what people don't even understand, G. I was going to be successful without football. And he always taught, when you read this book, I mean, the secret sauce is in the book, but when you read it, you're going to see all sorts of people from all walks of life talk about how Greg set them up to be successful if they weren't number one in what they were trying to do. Tom Brady's going to be successful whether he wasn't a football player. But not only Tom Brady, you're going to hear other people, CEOs from companies, talk about how Greg had them make sure that they were the best version of themselves. Once you're the best version of yourself, everything takes off. Mm. Well, love that's it. the secret sauce we all want. So we're all going to go get that book. Mm -hmm. yes, Thank you to Desmond <laughs> Howard and to Greg Harden for joining us today. It has been such a pleasure. Mm -hmm. And you can pick up the book, Stay Sane in an Insane World, wherever books are sold. Go show them some love. Brothers, make me proud. <laughs> See you guys here. Well, hey,
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.